on this brother you back to another edition of the reform faith simplified and this will be the installment in terms of our teaching about the uh things of the earth. and we have been going through the term tulip which is um an acronym that's used to kind of consolidate some of the tenets of the Reformed faith, uh, some of the tenets of Calvinism. And just to your memory, you have the T, which is total depravity. You have the U, which is uh, unconditional election. You have the L, which is limited atonement or definite atonement. You have the I, which is irresistible grace. And then you have the P, which we'll cover today, which is perseverance of the saints. Now, the scripture I want to use for this is in Philippians chapter 1, and I think it's really the most straightforward scripture about the starting and finishing work of the Lord Jesus in our life. And the, the, the tenets that, that really stuck out to me about the Reformed faith is that it consolidates, the, the reason I like Reformed faith, consolidates our belief system based off the scripture. Now, there will be people that will label those who follow the Reformed faith and say that you are, uh, you're simply blind following Calvin, etc. But biblically, when you write down what the scripture says, you can easily define your faith by the tenets of the reformed faith so the p the perseverance of the saints i want to direct you to philippians chapter one and i'll start in verse number one. the bible says paul and timothy bond servants of christ jesus to all the saints in christ jesus who are in philippi including the overseers and deacons you and peace from god our father and the lord jesus christ I thank my God in my I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always offering prayer with joy in my every prayer for you all. In view of your participation, now listen, this is where I kind of want to hone in on the P, perseverance. And, and the statement I want to make is those who start in the faith will finish in the faith. Verse 5 says, in view of your participation in the gospel from the first day until now, for I'm confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work among you will complete it by the day of Christ Jesus. Now, this is, this is clear proof that the working in the life of the believer will carry all the way from the time that somebody comes into the faith and, 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 and you live your life and you're on a path of progressive sanctification and God is changing you daily and you're conforming to, the, to, to his things, he will carry that all the way to the end. Those who start in Christ will finish in Christ. Those who start in the Lord will persevere in Christ. The Lord. Now that does not mean there won't be challenges along the way. That does not that mean that there are not going to be obstacles. That there may even be times when somebody would fail. However, at the end of the day, the perseverance of the saints, the P, stands for the fact that those who start in Christ will finish in the Lord. Because he who began a good work among you will complete it. That's not Donnie's words. That's words right out of the scripture. Well, I hope this series has blessed you. This by no means is a comprehensive view of these things. I would direct you to Legionnaire Ministries. Brother R.C. Sproul has done a tremendous job in outlining all these points that I've mentioned in the Reformed Faith Simplified. And if you'd like to know more about the Reformed Faith, I would be more than happy to talk to you more about it. Now, I want to leave you with this. Those who uh, would be, um, would follow the Reformed faith, we are not heretics. We are not outside the faith. There are those out there that would have you to believe that's the case, but we are following the scriptures based off of what we believe the scriptures 
at, um, uh, put forth. So if you'd like to know more, let me know and I can point you in the direction for some resources. I do hope.